Here we're going to tie a fly called the Row Jimmy. This is a Sculpin streamer pattern. First thing we're going to do is start with a 20 millimeter shank. All we're going to do is just close the rear loop here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our trailer wire. I'm just going to use some Sanyo black trailer wire. And you want to make this trailer wire large enough so that you can fit your size 4 or 6 stinger hook through. And uh, also you want enough room so that you can fit a little uh, trout bead through there as well. So I just kind of eyeball it. It looks like it should be enough there. And all we're going to do is just take this trailer wire. We're going to lash it down on each side of the shank of the hook. Take my thread forward. When I trim out this wire, I want to make sure to use the back end of my scissors so I don't uh, ruin my good pair of scissors. Now the next thing to do is to add the, the tail. For this I'm just going to use a piece of olive zonker rabbit. And I want to make sure also that uh, once my hook is attached that the hook does not uh, trail past the uh, piece of rabbit. I want it to be just inside of it. I just kind of roughly measure it out. I'm going to take that piece of rabbit. This is a zonkered strip. I'm just going to tie it here right on top of the shank of the hook. And then I can trim out the excess. At this point you can tie in your eyes. You can use a lot of different kinds of eyes for this fly. I'm going to use a uh, pair of pseudo eyes. They have a painted pupil on them. I'm going to use a uh, medium pair. You can tie them uh, with red pupils or chartreuse pupils. Uh, really you can do whatever you like. I'm going to use one with a red pupil here. I'm going to tie these in just behind the, the eye of the, the shank here. Make sure to get it on there nice and secure. Now once I've got that uh, attached, we're ready for our kind of collar or the uh, body. For that I'm going to use some schlappen. I'm just going to match the, the color of the fly that I'm going to tie. So I'm going to tie in a piece of olive. I like to tie it in by the tip. And I usually just kind of secure everything. Now we're going to take this piece of schlappen and as we wrap it I'm just going to force the the fibers back trying to get them all to lay down nicely. And then I'm just going to work my way up the shank of the hook. There we go. 
then I should have just a little bit of space left behind those eyes. I'm going to take my thread right into the middle of that space. Now ready to make the head. For the head we're going to use some Sanyo's laser dub and Sculpin Olive. And what I'm going to do is just take a clump here and I'm going to tie it onto the bottom of the fly and I try to align all these fibers so that they taper kind of on each end and I grab the middle of the clump. I'm just going to tie this in right on the the bottom of the fly. And I'll kind of force it to one side. And I lash it down with just a wrap or two. Then I'm going to do the same thing. And I'll kind of lash it down to the, the other side. I'm just trying to make a little bit of coverage. On the fly. I want to kind of wrap and engulf the entire head of the fly. And I'll do the same thing here on the top. Then I'll wrap forward all the way to the eye. Then I'll fold all that laser dub backwards. And I'm going to jump to just in front of the, the eyes. And I'll do the same thing. I'll use a little bit larger clumps. Make sure I get some good coverage. Then what I'll do is then again just pull the laser dub back, exposing the the eye of the hook here. I'll lay down a couple of wraps just to finish it. And then we can whip finish. As it looks like right now, it looks pretty shaggy. So what we're going to do is give it a bit of a haircut. If you like, the first thing you can do is actually just brush out all the loose fibers. If you're looking for a really big moppy fly you can actually not give it a haircut. But I usually do give it a haircut. Designer of this fly recommends you do so as well. Try not to trim any of your your slapping your rabbit strip if you can help it. You just want to trim the the laser dub. If you need to you can kind of stand the fibers up. That'll help you determine what you're trimming. I usually trim around those eyes a little bit as well to kind of expose them. If you get too much near the eyes, it kind of just covers them up and you can't see them. Once you've got the head kind of trimmed, then you can give it one more good 
fluffing. Then the last thing to do is to attach your trout bead. This is a six millimeter size. I just thread it right on there. And I'm going to thread my hook on as well. Hopefully we have just enough room here to, to slide it on. There we go. And that is the Row Jimmy, one of the patterns developed by Steelhead Alley blog. And you can find all the recipes, or the recipe as, long as, as well as uh, all the material for this fly at InTheRiffle.com.